Hi, this is an old G3 PowerBook. Um, currently it has Mac OS 10.3.9 with all the latest updates installed. Alongside of it, it also has an installation of Ubuntu 9.04 server. And there's a couple reasons I did this. One, the com battery on my computer, um, for some reason, I don't know why, but when it drops down to about 50%, more, most of the time the battery completely shuts off and it reports that it's out of battery power. Now, I think I may have found out why, but it's just, it's, the server uses less power because it's not as graphically intensive. And I like, I'm more comfortable with the command line if I'm just going to be using text anyway. anyway. Um, two, um, it's a lot quicker and it's a lot faster than using Mac OS X and it boots up a lot uh, snappier. And I can also use it for other things, so if I have someone else has a computer or something, they can hook it up with a little Ethernet cable I got, they can um, log in via FTP or SSH and download or upload a couple things here or there. I, it's more of an experiment for me, but uh, I also like having that little web server up in there. It's always fun. Um, and if I ever have anything that I need Mac OS X for, I can just switch over. Now, why I'm making this video? Well, I went through the installation probably um, with one CD. I went through the installation probably seven, eight, no, probably ten times. And I installed it at least ten times. And uh, I used a 9.10 server disk. Now that worked, but it would not create the user. And if it did, it, it would always come back as uh, wrong, uh, passwords wrong, it, it logins correct, but nothing else is right. And it was just it was a hassle. I even went in recovery mode. Everything it, it never created a password for me. And then I got problems with an uh, authentication token and. It was, it got hectic. And then I tried using the Ubuntu 10.04 desktop, and that worked, but it took way too long to install, and it just wasn't worth it. It was just too slow. So I was, I was just like, screw it. Um, then I found a new, or I found, well, let me show you what I mean. Okay. This I installed once. That didn't work. This was the problem that I had all along. It's quite ironic because I wrote works on the CD and um, it doesn't work at all. Go figure. This one does. and you, For people paying attention, they both say 9.04, but I actually wrote the wrong number. That's supposed to be 9.10. 9.10 didn't work at all. It's just not stable. This one worked the first try no problems whatsoever and that's what that is running right now and as you can see it just went through a complete update of all the sources and repositories I just installed Pro FTPD everything's working it flies and it's magical it even has links in there so if I really want to I can run it up and uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff I'm glad it works though because now it has a new meaning to it um, and I also installed, if this will start up, whoa, brightness, uh, what's it called, Ubuntu 10.04 on here, but it's, it's a little aggravating because I can't edit the video mode like I can on, um, because on this, comp this monitor, it was stuck in 640 by 480 console mode. And for the longest time, I thought that's just how it's going to be. It's not going to matter. It doesn't matter anyway. And then I finally went through the trouble to actually figure out how to change the resolution to 1280 by 1024. Um, it was like a dream come true. It was nice and crisp like the laptop over there. And it's just magic. But this one is stuck in 800 by 600. And it won't detect any other display. And I'm not good with uh, your boot or uh, XORG or whatever. I don't know how to change it. I'm just going to say I'm going to have to suck it up and just live with it. Because personally, I don't really use this computer a whole lot anyway, but 
and if you really want to use it you can go to the OS 10 or nope you can't because I deleted that because it, it didn't install past 10.3 anyway what was the point yeah but at least it somewhat works I mean if I down the road I can get to work it'd be nice but for now it's just not it's just an experiment I guess but yeah but like I said that I'm glad that w worked out for me um, that'll be interesting using at school though especially if I can get it to connect to the internet that'd be really weird but uh yeah at least it allows me to finally um, log in that's the biggest ticket because for the longest time I could not just log in it also allows me to download update upgrade um, just about everything with no problems whatsoever and it just, it's just it's just a it's a relief as I spent probably two or three hours at school just sitting here with one of these CDs going through each one systematically trying to get it to work and then when I finally got home I burnt one CD and it worked the first time it was a little aggravating but it was nice to know that it finally worked um, and yeah that's it that's all I have to say glad it works it's worth it I say it is as I never really used the OS 9 partition on this and I will use that OS 10 it's just the OS 9 one I never had any real use for it was nice once in a while, but it's just, I didn't use it regularly enough. And right now, this is running the web server. I know you probably already know that, but if you go over here, whoa, I actually made a quick little page, and I tested the PHP, and it all works. I actually made a little welcome page, or that I'll ever focus, but whatever. It works. It works fine. And it obtains an e uh, IP address and everything. Very cool.